Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I've assembled uh, basically the um, questions from the last uh, 24, 48 hours about Windows 11, about things that we talked about, and uh, we'll be answering those pretty much here. So the uh, questions are in no particular order, but they all have to do with Windows 11, with Windows market share with what happened with the Microsoft uh, earnings. So question number one from uh, one viewer is the um, importance of Windows in how much money Microsoft makes. And um, so it's very difficult because Microsoft doesn't break down too much what makes what and they just give you know general numbers. But when we start looking at the overall numbers and looking at all the different services and all the different things that Microsoft does, Windows seems to still account for a pretty big chunk of, of the money coming into Microsoft. So um, estimates are in the order of at least a quarter of all the income, if not a third of all the income. So it's still big. Um, it's still big. But there are other things making money going into Microsoft now that also are in there. So Microsoft is still important, and that's one of the, the reasons why I think Microsoft should take a little more time in being proactive with us and dealing with Windows. You know, Windows 10, for a while, we have the impression that Microsoft just didn't care about Windows anymore, but it has to care about Windows because it's still a big chunk, and, you know, 1.4 billion devices running windows come on you gotta you gotta take care of that base you know the other question uh, that i have is about the update coming in february so a lot of people are asking me is that some kind of big feature update that is going to reinstall windows on the pc basically no it's coming probably through a cumulative update something like that um it they call it a big update, but frankly, it's uh, features that are going to be here. So I am using this Insider Preview because here we have an example of a few little things there. First of all, notice on the bottom left, I have the temperature on the taskbar. I have the weather, which I honestly, I love. I like to have the weather on the taskbar. So this is one of the features. So it gives you an idea. You know, it's not groundbreaking big features coming in February. It's a few things like that. Uh, new notepad will be there. So the notepad will be uh, updated, of course, to uh, the latest version with all the new little you know bells and whistles that they've added to it. And so notepad will be, of course, the uh, new little thing. So this is notepad preview, as you see here. This is what's coming in February. Also, what else? We have the Android um, apps coming through the Amazon store. So um, it's the Windows subsystem for Android that is the, uh, the thing here. So if I look here, um, I think I have the Amazon app store. So here it is. So the Amazon App Store is that's what's going to happen to you. But now, one of the problems with this is that this might be U.S. only for now. You know, in Windows 10, remember the Cortana and all the things that prom that were promised, and Cortana promised for so many markets and so on. Yeah, well, that is that never happened to all markets and everywhere around the world. I'm scared of that feature for that reason. It's US only probably when it comes out. will probably progress to more markets as time goes by. But um, Android subsystem is not what people think. Most users will find that the limited Android apps coming in the Android store for Amazon is kind of not what the Google Play Store is all about. Now, I've heard, you know, we've heard rumors and we've heard, uh, I've seen a few demonstrations of sideline, uh, you know, being able to kind of um, install apps from somewhere else, packages, stuff like that. But anyways, we'll see about that. 
So this is another example of what is uh, going to be um, in there. So it's little things like that here and there that are going to be up to date on the system. And so, you know, it's not a major update. It's really going to be probably pushed through a cumulative update. And the big feature update, the real one that we're waiting for is still the 122H2 coming later this year. Now that one could be a reinstall of Windows a little bit like, you know, Windows 10 was doing with really big feature updates. Uh, we'll see because we know that Windows updates in Windows 11 are actually a lot more uh, streamlined and are efficient. So we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, one other question that I've got about Windows 10. Windows 10, will it get a big feature update this year? It's going to get an update. I don't think it's going to be a big feature update. And I think we have to cross the, uh, or, you know, we have to decide that, like, just understand that big feature updates for Windows 10 is a, a thing of the past. What we expect is that we'll have updates, but we'll have a cumulative update at the end of the year, and that's it. We'll bring maybe a few little things here and there, change a few things here and there. Don't expect much, and do not expect big feature updates for Windows 10. I don't think that's the thing of the future. And if it was, we would have a ring that would test that right now. Nothing is being really tested except in a release preview for some of this stuff. So, you know, we, we understand that uh, Windows 10 is kind of in its phase of being a kind of, you know, operating system that's going to stay at the level it is now. Have a little bit of updates every year, but nothing major and no big reinstalls. And I think that's fine because I think that's what people want anyways. Um, question about the um, rollout of Windows 11 going faster and more machines. So a lot of people are asking, so did they finally you know, change their mind on the minimum requirements? No, they did not. And it's still the same minimum requirements. That means... You know, if you don't have, don't have an Intel 8th generation or later and stuff like that, it's not going to show up ever on your Windows updates. That said, once again, you are able to install it anyways uh, if you do a clean install with the image of the uh, the Windows 11 image. Microsoft lets you install it if you even if you don't have the minimum requirements. But nope, that hasn't changed. Do not expect that to change ever. Microsoft is... On that, very serious of this is the minimum requirements. It's going to stay like that. The uh, other question I have is, do you know how many computers sold right now? What would be the percentage with Windows 11 on it? Uh, that's a tough number. And I would have to maybe go to a store and check out You know what we see. I suspect there's still quite a lot of machines that are Windows 10 machines being sold with a little sticker that says they're Windows 11 ready, meaning they have the minimum requirement and can go to Windows 11 with um, maybe, you know, a, a smaller portion being Windows 11 machines that have already Windows 11 on the machines. The other question is about the, uh, the features and the things that people would like to have fixed. Um, so a lot of people are saying, oh, so we're going to have all of the things that we don't like fixed in February. No, that's not going to happen in February. In February, that update is really small little things like I just mentioned. If there is something fixed, there could be in the next months little fixes here and there of how things people, you know, what they like, what they don't like uh, that could be fixed. But if there is a general fix and the general change of things that people want to have in Windows 11, I expect that to come a lot more at the end of the year and the second update like in October. So that's uh, the other thing. So these were the questions and answers. If you have some, do uh, post your question below. And uh, when I have a few uh, enough questions of interest to uh, talk about, of course, we're going to make another questions and answer video for the viewers. If you, answer, if you uh, enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.